Hey y'all, what's up? It's a real big Ford rolling back for another dip video. We got kind of a special dip today, um, seeing that not everybody can get it. So, um, no, it's not Copenhagen Mint. I ain't, I ain't in the north. Well, it ain't even just in the north, I don't think, but no, it's not here. Um, it is, uh, it is a, um, Copenhagen product, I guess you would say U.S. U.S. smokeless product. Um, but today we are going to be dipping on Cope Whiskey Blend. All right, um, I'm gonna pack a lip real quick, and then we'll elaborate on everything. But first, before I pack it, I'm gonna smell it and give y'all like a idea of what it smells like. All right. That it's like uh, it's like Copenhagen Black if you've ever had that, and it's just Copenhagen Black has like a little bit of a sweeter smell, but Copenhagen Black is so overpowering it's disgusting. Um, I personally don't like Copenhagen Black. I might have a dip of it every once in a while, but I don't. I don't go out and like, man, I need to find me a can of that Copenhagen Black. Um, but Copenhagen Whiskey is similar to Copenhagen Black. Um, it's just the sweetness of Copenhagen Black is one main thing that separates the smell from it. And the other thing is the pungent, the pungent smell of it. Like, you can you can crack the seal of it and you can smell it. It's just like uh, uh, I guess you could say Stoker's Mint if you've ever had that. Stoker's Mint is a very strong mint, and it's it if, whenever you open up the tub or a can or whatever, it literally burns your eyes. Like it it feels like you're you have somebody blowing them their mint right in your eyes. But either way. Go ahead and put a dip in. Um, one thing you'll notice with this stuff is it's a little bit drier of any Copenhagen dips. Really, Copenhagen is mainly mainly a moist dip, but put a little little hogger in. I feel like an outsider not not sitting in a mud jug, but I have I have a few. It's just every single time I want to make a video, I don't feel like cleaning it out, or it's just like disgusting. I ain't gonna bring it out on camera. My if you watch Outlaw different videos. And you're familiar with Fat Boy and whenever he whenever he uses a mud jug or anything, it looks like a shitter, not a spitter. That's how mine look. Just because I keep my dips in for so long that the the dip pretty much breaks apart and I start with a lip this size, maybe bigger, and then it progressively gets smaller because of how long I keep it in. I keep a dip in approximately two hours, so three hours maybe sometimes just depends on if I'm working or if I'm just I don't I lose track of time and I don't really pay attention but um, back to the dip alright this dip right here it's a it's a milder dip. It ain't like what I normally dip, which is uh, either Grizzly Winter Grain or Kodiak Winter Grain. I don't dip Kodiak on a regular because it's so expensive. It's almost thirty dollars for a sleeve where I'm from, and where I'm from, dips pretty cheap compared to like let's say California. Whenever a can is like six or seven dollars over there for a can of Grizzly, which is like a mid-price dip. Um, this dip, it's, the reason why I say it's a milder dip is 
you can gut it and not feel like your your whole esophagus is about to explode in your body and you're about to throw up. You can you can swallow this stuff. I wouldn't recommend it if you're just first starting, but it's like uh, like if you take a long cut dip, just like a regular, like let's say Copenhagen long cut or like ju just like a dip that ain't got really any flavor. Um, it's just like that. You can you can gut it and you be fine. I mean, yeah, you might feel a little bit of burn. It's normal. That's gonna happen with any dip. But um, I mean, going back to going back to what I said at the first of the video, whenever I was giving you a smell, like what I what I can see whenever I smell it, as uh. The one thing it, it has to do with the potency of how how the dip is, like that, the whiskey blend, or like I said, long cut. Those aren't potent dips. Like they're they're very like they're they're not that heavy. Um, but it's a kind of kind of gives you if you can. What what I'm trying to get out of what I'm saying right now is it's very like low. I don't know how much nicotine's in it. I don't know if it's the same as um, I don't know if it's the same as like Copenhagen or Green. It's probably not. But what I'm saying is the potency ain't so so uh, heavy with it. So you can you can gut it and do whatever. So. If you're at work and you can't dip, but you wanna you wanna dip, just practice outside of where you can't dip, and then just start swallowing it little by little. Um, and that's pretty much how how you get a dip. But I definitely if you can get this dip, this or long cut, Copenhagen long cut, you can get it and it's easy um, but I wouldn't do it uh, I wouldn't do it right then and there like I wouldn't try it where you're not supposed to dip because if you're not used to it you could throw up I'm not saying you can never you, can, you don't throw up at all you may throw up or you may feel sick not feel right but what I'm saying is, is you can get this dip pretty easily um, this dip, the taste of it, it's a good taste. I wouldn't necessarily say it tastes like whiskey, but um, it's got a good taste. It's not overpowering like black is. Copenhagen black, the only reason I don't like it is it's, it's so harsh. Like it's such a, such a harsh flavor. And it's so overpowering, like that's all you taste for however long, like however long you have the dip in. And then a couple hours after you taste Copenhagen Black in your mouth, this you can take it out, drink a little bit of water, and you don't taste it at all. Um, now, on the duration of this dip, this kind of dip, flavor wise, lasts me probably about 45 minutes, which Grizzly, the play, the flavor goes out in like an hour and a half for me. That I'm just not, I'm not just sucking on the dip the whole time. I just, I let it simmer my lip. I get the, I get the juice. I get the nicotine, all that. Yeah, some people out there that get 30, 45 minutes out of a heavy dip because they sit there and suck on it and get all the juice out of it. But this is a naturally drier dip, so you're not going to get a duration like you would out of Grizzly Wintergreen. Um, I like it though. I wouldn't dip it every day. It's too mild for me, but um, for flavor, I'd have to give it. I had to give it a, give it a seven because I do like long cut dips. I like just real old tobacco flavored dips and 
there's not like I said it doesn't really taste like whiskey so it's it's kind of on the line of um, if they took if they took long Copenhagen long cut and Copenhagen black before they put all the sugar and whatever they did to make it a little bit sweeter that's pretty much what it's like and it's just not not potent at all but I, I like the flavor it's not bad but it dips a little bit too dry for me like I said it's not it's not a heavy enough dip it it don't last long enough for me as well so um, it stays together pretty good and you look like you see it it's staying together pretty good um, like I've said in a previous video of mine I can't remember which one it was but yeah if you're dipping long cut or anything other than pouches you're going to get floaters but whenever I say it stays together real good it ain't like going all the way I haven't had that in a while because I've been dipping for a while and after after you've been dipping for a little bit you get pockets as most of y'all may know but um, I've had people I've had people that hadn't been dipping that long have this stuff and they told me it, it's alright towards like grizzle wintergreen I gave them grizzle wintergreen it was going all over their mouth and they they didn't like it so they spit it out I gave them some of this stuff because of some outer dip and secondly for me it stayed together I didn't get as many floaters as grizzly wintergreen and it stayed together pretty good so packability in in your lip um, I'd probably give it about an eight eight and a half um, I mean, it's a good dip. I like it. If you can get it, try it out. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can't get it, I'm sure you know somebody that has it in their state. North Carolina has it in their state. That's, that's the state that I'm from. There's a thing called social media you can get on there and make friends with people out of state. I ain't condoning like going like you're 15 years old and getting somebody to buy it for you. I ain't saying that, but if you physically can't get it because it's not in your state, try try getting somebody up on Instagram or Facebook, whatever you use. But. Like I said, I really like this. It's a good dip. But, I don't know. Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. But, uh, overall, I'll give y'all overall, then I'll end this video. Overall, good dip. I give it a, I give it an 8 out of 10 good dip I recommend it highly but that's my review on Copenhagen whiskey blend y'all go and get y'all some